It was the Queen's Golden Jubilee when my husband and I moved into Devizes. People everywhere seemed to have a smile on their faces. In fact, everyone seemed to be in a celebratory mood. I wasn't. Career orientated, city girl moves reluctantly to a small country town. Why? The house price was right. Nothing else was. After suffering bereavements, one, two, three, four, the desperation to be a mother was becoming all-consuming. I had to make a change, and fast. Within one week of launching my new solo venture into an online business, I found out I was expecting again. Nine months later, my miracle child was born. I was overjoyed and overwhelmed. Bang, went the business idea. Motherhood was the hardest job in the world, and I couldn't decipher the instruction manual. A chance encounter with a builder who asked the question, where can I get a sandwich, was all it took. The formation of Mango Road Caterers was an adventure and experience I will never forget. Despite the fact I had no formal training, I loved to cook and entertain for family and friends. Happy memories are what any mother wants for her child, and so I wanted this name for our business because it evoked happy memories of my very early childhood, as it was the road where I was born. Suddenly, I discovered a new and exciting world. Soon, I had a customer base, which ranged from mechanics to butchers to builders to even a recording studio. From the obscure to the unusual, Devizes had it all and right here on my doorstep. After waiting for so long to become a mother, I didn't want to go and leave my child in a nursery. Within a few weeks, the name Mango Road became obsolete as we became known as Mad Mary and her crazy child catering. The name change seemed to be in conjunction with a new product line I had just introduced, Zucchini Cupcakes. It was all too much for the men of rural Wiltshire. Unsure of what a zucchini was, the first customer thought it looked like cannabis and decided to spread the word that there was this mad woman caterer with baby in tow selling cannabis cupcakes. My sales rocketed, and I never looked back. No two days were the same, apart from the number of laughs we shared. After nearly two years of catering and being self-employed, I returned to a career within recruitment. My son was ready to face new challenges, and so was his mother. This year, in February, my son celebrated his sixth birthday party with a village hall full of friends. My husband and I were amazed as to how many children and their parents joined in the celebrations. I doubt if we remained city folks, we would have had so many friends. Living and working within this small community has made me realise just how powerful a simple, innocuous word like hello is. More often than not, it has meant a trip into town has taken anything up to two hours longer than anticipated. So despite not having the cosmopolitan city upbringing of his parents, our child will still experience different cultures and traditions whilst learning on a daily basis what it is to be a country boy and the Wiltshire way of life. This year, it's the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. I can't quite believe the transformation my life has undergone. A decade ago, I wasn't one of the people with smiles on their faces. I wasn't in a celebratory mood. This year, I most certainly will be.